I called up my buddy Ryan Nitz and told him, dude, we gotta film a snook show. You've been slaying some giants. He's been catching monsters in the backcountry. So we finally got together. The moon was right, the tide was right. We went to the backcountry with a bunch of live mullet and we filmed one of the most incredible snook fishing days of my life. Oh my, look at them all. Where? There's a thousand right here. Got to get piped. Oh! You got piped. Oh, no, you missed it, you missed it. Oh, oh my gosh. Right. Oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. You got it, you got it? Oh, you got a, you got a giant, dude. You got a giant. Oh my gosh, Ryan. He's gone. No. Pitch it on there, pitch it in there, pitch it in there. Can we eat it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, reel, reel in, reel in, reel in. Let's get pipe. Oh. Missed it. You missed it. No, uh He's on it. He's on it. Hold on. I'm gonna pitch in there. Pitch in there. Get in there. Get in there. Hold on. Oh my gosh! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh. That was so sick. Oh. That was epic. <laughs> the trick is to have a really lively mullet, and mine was not even close. So let's get him back in the water here. Got a nice, probably over slot. Definitely. Probably 34 incher. Yeah. Nope. And he gone. gone. All right, let's get another one. All right. As soon as we got in the backcountry, we started seeing snook immediately. And uh, I reached in the live well and got a live mullet. That's typically what we start out with because the snook are very finicky back there. And live mullet is, is what works the best. But as soon as I threw that live mullet in there, the fish were acting like I, you know, you only see this about three or four times throughout the summer. They were super aggressive and they just, I knew right away we had to switch to top waters. So we, me and Josh both tied on some top waters and ended up having one of the most epic days we've ever had. We got a couple of fish coming right down the line, right here. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I told you. Nuh-uh. Still on you? Right now, the artificial is actually working better than the live bait. Ryan just got three strikes back to back to back. I took off the mullet, no good. Going artificial. Oh. That's a big fish. Oh. No oh. mullet needed. No mullet needed. I like no mullet. It's a way better rule. So fun. Way better. Let me help you. What a beast. Bring her in. Ooh, mama. Look at that. That's beautiful. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that snook on artificial. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. That's a great fish. They do get bigger, but to eat, no way. That was an epic eat. To catch those on a top water, you just can't beat that. No, you can't, dude. That's too much fun. Look at that. Oh, she's ready. There she goes. Whew. That was epic. Ryan? Yes, sir. Let's and repeat. Let's do it again. Let's do another one. This episode is brought to you by Discover Boating, and their entire mission is to get you on the water. Whether you want to rent a boat or buy a boat, they're there for you. They're like a good friend. They're going to help you out through the whole process. So, guys, check out Discover Boating. Their link is in the description. They're going to help you out. Watch this. It's so epic. <laughs> He's pulling. Oh, no. Oh, you ain't gonna break me off the mangroves. I don't think so, buddy. No, 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 no. He's barely hooked, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's hooked, he's hooked, he's hooked in the face, too. Ready? Making a comeback here. Ryan got three, two, back to back. Not bad. Not a monster, but that eat was insane. He skied on the bait. Epic. Something really important about snook fishing. Snook will fray up your leader real bad. You can see that fray right there. So you gotta cut that right about here. Okay, get the fray out and just retie your lure. We're throwing, I don't know, like a four or five inch spook right here and we're just letting this thing walk the dog on top of the water and those snook are absolutely crushing it. Yo, Ryan right here, fish, fish, fish. Oh, 
Oh my god. Dude, that was so sick. <laughs> the lure messed up. The lure up. was tangled. <laughs> and he loved it. Yo, guess what, Ryan? Guess what? We tied. <laughs> Three apiece. Well, you're in the front, don't forget. Oh, okay. He piped it, choked on it. Let's see if we can get these hooks out quick. Okay. Pulled right out. Pulled right out. Number three, guys, he is green, green, green. Oh my goodness, let's let him go. See ya. And he's gone. Dude, so that, epic. Was, that was epic. I mean, guys, seriously, if you thought that was an awesome top water eat, Hit that like button. That was, I and mean, you, come on. And if you didn't think that was an awesome topwater eat, then watch this one right here. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, he's like, he likes it. Oh my gosh, Ryan, it's a giant. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, Ryan. That's a monster. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that's a 40 all day. Oh, no. Get some, son. Come on, Big Joe. There he is, there he is. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. I got it, I got it. Oh, he's mean, dude. Dude, that's a big fish. Oh, he's pulling you. Which eat do you like better, Ryan's eat or mine's eat? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, you're over here now. Oh, my. All right, well, watch dog. That's a little hump on that fish, dude. In the boat. No, oh, nice. daddy. I'll just wiggle it out. There he is. Nice. Dude, that's a 40, bro. 39 and a half. 39 and a half. Almost big. made it in the club. So when you catch these big females back in the back country, there's not as much oxygen as if you were fishing in the mouth of the inlet. So you want to take your time with these big fish. That's why we are throwing a little bit bigger gear so you can get them in a little bit quicker. Don't come back here with a 3,000 and fight the fish for 10 minutes and then just let him go. He's going to die. Let him suck on your thumb. You can see she's starting to kick. And uh, I'm going to turn the trolling motor off and let her just slowly swim away. Ready? Me and Ryan are having a little friendly competition. He's leading right now, 4-3. He's definitely got two nice fish. I don't have any big fish yet, so we're gonna keep the competition going. It's a friendly competition, nothing serious here. There's no trophies, no money in the line. We're just seeing who can catch the most and who can catch the biggest. All right, we got it. We got two or three fish coming. Oh, four or five. Oh, here it comes. He's eating, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Oh my gosh, fish on, fish on. Giant, dude. Oh, is it a giant? Yeah. Giant, Ryan, you're hooked up. What? Right, so come. Boom. Yo, guys, seriously, what did you think of that drone eat? Was that awesome? <laughs> you got your pliers? Right here, right here. Oh, 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 oh. That's all right. Oh. Well, he's, gone. he's gone. Let's get that another one. Epic. More. Gosh, that right here, big giant right here. Ready? <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's a, that's a giant, dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he just piped it. That's a big one, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Right in the pocket. Man, he is just fiery. Oh, barely there. Hugger, hugger, hugger. Get in the boat. Ooh. Dude, what an animal. Oh, let me hold her. Dude, nice this big is what, breed. number 12? Yep, big breeding female. See this little sore right here? That's from mating in the inlet. Really? Yep. It's a fat fish, dude. Yep. 18 pounds, probably. Just an absolute epic topwater day. Oh my gosh, best topwater snook fishing of my life. Yeah, I would say so. We started at the inlet, and it was complete chaos there. Yeah, it was garbage. Let's let this guy go right here. Let's let him go. All right, buddy, you ready? See you, mama. That is a mama, right? Yeah, it's a mama. Yo, come on, baby. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, there she goes, look at her go, gracefully. Dude, guys, seriously, if you want to get on an epic top water snook bite, this is the man right here, Ryan Nitz. Give me a call. Seriously, if you guys go to his Instagram page, look at how many giant snooks the guy catches. He is a stud, dude. Not a myth. It's not a myth. Bro, what's your biggest snook, by the way? 48 inches. How much do you think that thing weighed? Probably had to be somewhere around 30 pounds. 
maybe bigger. I don't know. It's hard to determine. Absolute monster. If you guys want to catch a monster smoke, Ryan Nitz, dude. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. Love fishing with you, buddy. Thank you. Guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe, make sure you check out Discover Boating, and we'll see you next time.